Hello, my name is Shannon Roberts and I'm a product manager at Radiant Vision Systems. Today we're going to show an example of Radiant's capabilities with pattern matching. Here we are in one of our software packages developed for keyboards called PMKB. We're going to be looking at an example of how our software can recognize characters that are incompletely drawn, put in the incorrect location, and also have low or bright luminance levels. So the first thing we need to do is take an image of a golden sample. So this is our reference sample that we're going to use to be able to show the expected location, size, and shape of our reference. So I've already gone ahead and set the save reference value to true in the settings. And now I'm going to test a keyboard and I'm going to be using previously taken measurements. So I hit test keyboard and now I'm going to choose the unaltered keyboard and it's going to let me know that a reference measurement does not yet exist. It's going to ask me if I would like to save the reference measurement. It's then going to do its analysis and give me the results. So as this is our unaltered keyboard, as expected everything passes and it's giving me the luminance uh, CX, CY values as well as local contrast values of the characters. So next I'm going to test a different type of keyboard. Here we have a keyboard where part of the letter T is missing. So this is an example of a device that has failed. You can see down here in the bottom right the reason that it failed was for the T character failing and over here on the left you can see in the user interface that is outlined the T character in red. If we zoom in here you can see that the expected outline of the T is in purple and the actual character that it found was in red and you can see by hovering over it it's giving us some more information about this character. So this is one example of pattern matching. The next example I'm going to show you actually demonstrates where two keys have been switched. So this device also failed and you can see that the reason it failed was for the M and the N. And if you zoom in here you can see that um, the, the M and the N have been switched. Again the expected pattern is drawn in purple and the found pattern is drawn in red. So this is a resulting of a failed keyboard. Lastly, I'm going to show you another example. So this isn't that the key is in the wrong shape or location, but the luminance level is too low. So you can see here on the L that it's outlined in red, and if we look up here you can see that the L failed um, because of the minimum luminance level is below 5, and that's a threshold that I had set. So here's just some quick examples of how Radiant Vision Systems can help you pass fail your devices on both shape, location, luminance, and color. Thank you.